Hello, I'm Al Isakov, a medical intuitive and a wealth activator, and this is another episode of Inside Healing. And being Love Week, of course, it's going to be about love, but of course, <laughs> if you know me, it's not just going to be about the lovey-dovey stuff. I want to get deeper. I want to go deeper because there's so much that's keeping us from all the love, love of love of a healthy relationship, love of money, like bringing in abundance, love of aligned people that are healthy for you. And I want to bring a quote that, um, that when I remember when I heard it for the first time way back, it kind of rocked my world. It's like, oh my gosh, it all, all makes sense now. And this is the quote. We accept the love we think we deserve. Let me read that again for you. We accept the love we think we deserve. So here's the raw deal. Not a raw deal. Here's the big deal. <laughs> Whatever we feel we're worthy, we're going to make in monetary. Whatever we think we're worthy, we're going to get that kind of a job. Whatever we think we're worthy, we're going to get those kind of aligned people and friends and support and just people that love you unconditionally as you are. And then, of course, whatever we think we deserve, we're going to get that intimate partner that that loves us and is affectionate and supportive and gives you freedom to be you. And here's the thing. When we have a lot of trauma and when we come from families that also, you know, there's so much trauma, it's, you know, a lot of this goes back to intergenerational trauma where parents and their parents and their parents have grown up with unhealthy forms of love or expressing love or expressing affection because, you know, love is very complex and vulnerability is very complex. Not, oh, whoa, vulnerability, vulnerability is not complex. Vulnerability is hard. And it's hard when we have passed on ancestrally pains of the heart. But today I want to run to, so, oh, but first of all, from the very beginning, I've been running the Rose Quartz Gemstone Frequency. So you're getting the love, 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 love of the Rose Quartz, although you're being imbued in you. So uh, the whole time I'm talking, you're getting imbued with Rose Quartz. I mean, oh my goodness, there's nothing, there's nothing more... Um, caring and gentle and just joyous because you know when we when we feel true love and true unconditional love we feel joy now i decided that the next three this is one the next two episodes will also be about love because there's so much to say so today i'm going to run two sacred activations i'm worthy and i'm love because until you feel worthy none of that's going to come it's not going to come in the way you want you know, we often even go for things because we think we're broken or we're flawed or we're we're not good people or, yeah, we feel like we're bad people because something that we've been conditioned to or with our role models growing up or that they couldn't handle it or they were overwhelmed. It's a whole thing with how we're, how we're brought up is everything. And I remember when I, um, well, 2007 is when I had my dark night of the soul. And also when I left my abusive relationship, but that's when I paused everything. And I'm like, this is enough is enough. Enough is enough. And I crawled back up. I sought help. I did everything. And that's when I manifested my hubby, who is warm, gentle, supportive, kind, and super generous. And don't we all deserve that? Until you realize that you're not broken. You're not half full. You're already whole. The brokenness and the flawed comes with people telling us things. You know, that we're stupid, not good enough, don't speak. It's all it's 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 a it's like a ripple effect that expands. This could be from your family, this could be from your school. Oh, I mean, schooling in general is very competitive, so it makes you feel less than if you're not the smartest, if you're not the the athlete. So today would be just about I'm worthy. Yeah. And I'm love. And that will connect you to universal love. And it's beyond like, I love me. It's not that. It's bigger than that. It's the universal holding you in love 24-7, your whole life. <laughs> so yeah, Rose Quartz is running through you. But let's start and run 
some activations. Until we shift our worthiness, we're going to attract like, have you heard, like attracts like? You know those people that look like brother and sister? I know the people, one time I was like, the first time I met them together, I was like, are you guys brother and sister, husband and wife? And they go, oh, they laughed because everybody tells us. So we attract <clears throat> like, like physically, but we also attract like, uh, in flawed so we go for the self-sabotaging humans or people that don't uh, strive or are ambitious and have have self-sabot addictions like self-sabotaging behaviors by the way it's not just addictions it's just well we sabotage ourselves in many many other ways than just addictions and uh, we just tend to focus on that <laughs> Take a few expansive breaths. Keep accepting and the imbuing of rose quartz through your veins, through your cells, through your being. And then let the, let, let the next exhale bring you down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart of Mother Earth. And that place with Mother, the feminine, uh, the love of the feminine is like the flow of love. It's like the no holds barred. That's feminine. The control, the rigidity is the masculine. So the feminine is that expansive love. That's love that's, oh my goodness, it just reaps all around you. It's like an aura of love around you. Whoa. So today will be just about the worthiness and just bring you to the universal love. And from that place, really give yourself full permission to receive. Know that you are worthy of receiving. I'm going to start running. I am worthy. Sacred activation. Accept to receive. I'm going to bring in I am love. Gosh, what a concept. I wonder, you know, I am love is unconditional. I am love is no matter what you did, what you said, how you were in the past, how you are. That's unconditional love. Unconditional love is full acceptance of you. So today is about helping you feel that from the universe and just knowing that you're held 24-7. And then we'll continue with that as we go on. Uh, for the next two episodes. So starting to run, I am love. Sacred activations, accept, accept to receive. The I am worthy and I am love. And you are still imbued, imbued by rose quartz, gemstone frequency. Bask in this for the next two minutes. Bask in this for the next two minutes. So much shifts when we shift our inner parts on the cellular level, which is why energy healing is so much more profound. And talk therapy is important, very important, actually, to release some of the traumas that we're holding on. But on the cellular level, on the DNA, you want the energy healing. You want that deeper shift, both. <laughs> and until you know that you are worthy, you know, you'll accept the love you think you deserve. And what if I told you that you deserve it all? You deserve all the abundance, all the money, all the opportunities, all the things that you want. If you want to travel, you should, you deserve that. You want to align people that support and lift you up and cheer you on. You deserve that. You want the money, abundance of money so you can have freedom. You deserve that. You have to feel worthy first. So today is beyond just the romantic love. Well, the people love. This is beyond. This is uh, mm, mm, human love. Like, what do you, as a human being, to get joy, freedom, and uh, peace, inner peace? This is what today's about.
I wish there was more talk on the universal love and that you are love. You don't need to prove yourself. You don't need to fix yourself. You're not broken. You've always been whole. And any kind of flaws are there. They give us character. <laughs> uh, you're not broken. You've always been whole. You don't need to be fixed. I see you. And I see this perfect being that you are as you are. Perfectly imperfect from, uh, from head to toe. <laughs> That's for Mary Poppins. Bring yourself down to the heart of Mother Earth. And then that place, just really integrate these these energies and the frequency of the rose quartz, the energies of the I'm worthy sacred activation and I am love sacred activation. So I'm love is, is that um, it's not even a collective love. It's, it's that universal love. You know, it's that you're being held by love. And all that's required is you opening up to it, believing that you deserve it. Until we, until you, um, we stop thinking that we're broken, that we're not worthy, that we're bad. That's shame. I should probably do an episode on that. We're not going to feel like we're worthy of love of all realms of our life. We're not going to accept it. We're not going to dish it out. We're going to be protecting ourselves. We're going to be guarding ourselves. So base can integration and grounding of Mother Earth. And feel gratitude for showing up for yourself in this way. It does take initiative and it's not always easy because it's so hard when we don't think we deserve it or we think that we're bad to reach out and expand to something like this. So I want you to really acknowledge yourself for stepping into this and knowing that, yes, I deserve joy. I just have love in all realms, all areas of my life. Make your way to your heart center. <clears throat> and if it feels okay, bring your hands to your heart, if it resonates. And I'd like you to repeat this out loud. I am fully back into my body. I am fully supported and I am love. I am fully back into my body. I'm fully supported and I am love. I'm fully back into my body fully supported and I am love and you are love when you start to understand that and know it in every cell and fiber of your being no one can ever take that away from you no one we give our power away to these people that judge us and say things no you it starts with you and you showed up today and it starts with things like this Mm, okay. Share this with someone. I think we can all use a little of this kind of message. Wow. Imagine the world where everybody, where everybody felt like they were worthy. Oh my goodness. It would be a whole different world. I promise you that. It would be a whole different world. Subscribe so you never miss a moment of insight and healing. And comment below so I know how this was for you. How did you feel the real sports through your being? I'd love to know. As always, much love.